Good morning, Flosstube. I thought I would do a very, very quick update. Um, happy 4th of July, everybody. It is gonna be a really hot day here today in Michigan. Um, it's been really hot. Uh, we've been traveling and um, it was hot where we went because instead of going north and maybe getting some early from the heat, we went south. Uh, we went to Nashville, Indiana, which is an artist colony, and it was a really great trip. We had a really good time, got some great um, different little pieces and things uh, for the house. Our house is a little bit in chaos right now. We're turning our crap room uh, and my craft room, which never really got set up. Um, we moved in and we just sort of shoved everything in that room. Um, we're turning it into a full-fledged guest room and in order to do that we have to move a bunch of bookcases and ugh, there's just a lot so we're in the process of doing that um, I am I take care of my youngest granddaughter not my youngest grandchild but my youngest granddaughter um, I have three grandchildren and she's the middle uh, the oldest one is old enough to stay at home, you know, on his own. Uh, there's people in and out over there. Um, so he is, he's responsible enough to do, to do that. Um, and he stays with friends and that kind of thing. They sort of do like a little cooperative, you know, I'm at your house. Sorry. My hair is in my mouth. Um, you know, that kind of deal. But my... Uh, granddaughter Sophie has been coming over here and we do Mimi care because I'm Mimi I'm not grandma um, so we do cream uh, Mimi care so uh, I have her for a little bit this morning um, her mom just has to run some errands and things and so we absolutely have a great time together we do thrifty Thursdays we go out and shop for thrifty things so that's kind of cool but anyway um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna update really really fast, and it's not gonna make any sense probably. But um, anyway, so I had two finishes this week, and this week um, I always start a trip project, um, or I did start a trip project, and I finished it, and it is the Lizzie Kate one. Flip it, something like that. Um, small bits anyway um, and I <laughs> had a happy accident I did the July this part is supposed to be a different color and I just picked up the red and just stitched didn't think to look at the pattern I don't know um, and but I like it I think it's really cute and the colors are really pretty they're very vibrant um, so and I'm I'll get this finished up pretty quick, but super cute. Love doing my Lizzie Cates. Uh, let's see, I had another one, and this was from Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher, and it's called, hold on, Free, oh, Liberty Parade, and it's by Sandra Sullivan. Um, and I absolutely love this. She has a Halloween one with these little birds, too, that I just picked up. So, oh, love it. I'm going to try and get this finished today. And then I think, I'm, I think I've shown this one. That's the Freebie by Barbara Anna. And I love it. And I do everything in DMC on Mystery Fabric. Um, if the camera shakes, my cat has just appeared. Um, because I bought a big bag of, of fabric at a, at a um, thrift store the other day. And it had linen, a huge cut of linen. It had all kinds of stuff in there. Um, and I think I paid $4 for it. So I got some really great deals on that. So those are my finishes. Um, let's see. Sorry, I'm trying to follow my plan here. Somebody mentioned on Tube that they are taking their, there's my kitty. Hi, Maggie. Good morning. Um, that they are taking their 
um, Stitch Mania list and they're highlighting what they've got finished. So I'm doing that as well. But I'm honestly going to start packing away some of my Stitch Mania um, because I'm heading into fall stitching now. Um, I really want to stitch a bunch of Halloween. I got really inspired while we were at this little um, place in Indiana. We got some really um, interesting pieces and just for some reason I just have this desire to stitch um, to stitch, sorry, to stitch, um, Halloween. Speaking of Halloween with my mostly black cat, she's a tuxedo. She's a rescue. Um, we got her in Florida. So she's my tiny kitty. She only weighs about five pounds. Let me see if I can. There she is. She's a good girl. She's a pretty kitty. Yes, she is. Um, all of our animals are rescues, except for my, um, my classroom guinea pig, but he was a donation, so, okay. Anyway, uh, moving on. So I've had some finally finishes, uh, put this on my Instagram and also put it on Facebook in the groups that I'm in, Star Spangled Stitchers, um, been in there forever and also in all about smalls I think I po posted these but and I got great responses um, thank you if you're on there and you did some made some comments or whatever um, these are from Prairie Schooler and this is how I finish it on the back so I sew all four sides up and I slit it carefully because your stitching is in there. Turn it inside out. These are yo-yos. And I'll do a tutorial on you on yo-yos um, later because these are the coolest, easiest things to do for embellishments. And um, um, that that's just a that's a vintage button. And I have a lot of fun putting the buttons together with the with the project. So that's one. I'm just gonna pop them out here. Um, I actually have made two full size or queen size, they're queen size, yo-yo quilts. And I'll try and get one out and, so, and show it to you. One belongs to my mom, so it, it, it is not my possession. Lizzie Kate, back in front. But I do July, also Lizzie Kate. I love that button. I've been trying to use that button forever, so I'm glad that I did. Sorry, my dogs are. I love this eagle. And that one. I have a few more, but I'm not gonna show them right now because um, they have, they're not completely finished. So, full disclosure, um, I was, at the beginning of this floss tube adventure, I wanted to make sure that I didn't edit. I don't edit my videos, mistakes and all. Um, I own up to the bad things I do, such as leave, you know, a quarter of an inch of fabric around my designs. I do that quite frequently. Um, I collect stash and I'm not going to apologize for it anymore. Uh, somebody on Facebook put an absolutely wonderful perspective on there about stash um, where we all apologize for it, but we shouldn't. Um, we are preparing for our future. Our future is uncertain. We never know. Uh, what if I don't have money in the future for stash? I do have money right now, thankfully, um, but one never knows what comes around the corner. So I know I have a lot of patterns and I have a lot of stitching materials and that's okay. And I'm going to start kidding up and getting ready for retirement um, so that I don't have to spend a ton of money. And if I hadn't collected patterns, I wouldn't have some of the great patterns I do today that are now out of print, such as Lady of the Flag or um, Book of Spells, the original ones, um, Prairie Schoolers, all of those ones I have because I stash hoarded. And I'm not, I'm done apologizing for it. I work hard for my money. Um, and this is my 
and my children are grown and raised and everything and this is now a priority for me so that was my full disclosure so um i also have you know this is the warts and all edition so in cleaning up i knew i had more patriotic stitching um and i found this box it's a good size box i mean it says box um and I took the lid off and I have another one like this and it is full of cotton, uh, like cotton that uh, sugar and cream to do dishcloths with. Because I do those in the car. That's how I stitch. I stitch yo-yos in the car when we travel. And this is what I found. It is full of things that I have stitched that are not finished. I will be remedying that ASAP. Um, for instance, this one, the one on top, I stitched in 1997. And it's really cute. And it's coming out of the box and it's getting finished. So I'm just going to do a quick uh, parade here to just show you some of the things that were in my box of shame that will be finished very shortly. Look at this one, y'all. Ooh, I love that one. And I, I loved stitching all of these and I know that there was a design here and one of my children, I can't remember who it was that did it or said it or whatever, um, looked at the pattern and said those little things here look like the bird was pooping things. So I think it's stars. It's supposed to be stars. And after that, I couldn't stitch the stars. So anyway, I've seen them and they're so cute and I wish I could, but I can't because it reminds me that the bird is pooping stars. Yeah, I have a lot of stitched. And I kept seeing this pattern on floss tube and going, I know I stitched that. I know I did, or maybe I just imagined it. I hand dyed this fabric. Look at it, look at that modeling. Ah! Oh. I used to do that a lot. I hand dyed some orange and some green fabric and stitched Halloween stuff on it. And it's beautiful. I think I'm gonna start doing it again. Um, the rest of these are, um, let's see, I have spring. I'm not gonna show them all because, but look at this one. I mean, honestly, hold on. Oh, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to show all of these, but there's a bunch of the, but I'm definitely going to finish the patriotic ones. And um, when I put the patriotic ones away at the end of the month, then I'll have, here's my house. Oh gosh, you guys. Oh, you guys. I can't even. This is just the first hunk of patterns in here. I mean, but I won't. I guess I'm telling you this, we live in a world where we expect perfection and we must do, we must do, we must do. It's okay. If this, if these get finished, they get finished. If they don't, they don't. I mean, I want to get them finished now that I've found them because I want to, I want to display them. But, you know, I'm not going to feel guilty anymore about stash. I'm not going to feel guilty anymore about the, you know, any of this stuff this is this is crazy i mean some of this stuff is so old you guys there's halloween in here anyway so i needless to say i will have lots of finishes to show you next floss too because these patriotic ones are definitely getting finished so that i can pack them away with this grouping i'm going to keep patriotic up until july and i'm going to keep stitching patriotic as well um until the end of july and then I am going to go to summer for like August. Okay, real quick. I went to 
the Stitch and Frame in Fort Wayne, Indiana over the weekend um, as we were driving through. My sweetie is amazing and he um, found this store for me. Um, he did the research and he uh, planned it that we could stop. He's best in the world, I'm telling you. So, I did some sash enhancement, of course. Um, and really interesting story about one of these patterns, and I'll show you that one last. Okay, so this is my new Philosophy on Stash, and it is a waxing moon design, and it says, my stash is huge, and I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed, and I love it. I can't wait to stitch that one up. This one, Prairie Schooler, one for the crow. I saw somebody stitch it and it was beautiful. And I love these crows. Might do the crows for Halloween and keep the rest for later. Um, I am really getting into the drawn thread. I have a bunch of her patterns in my stash. And so I picked this one up, Simply Scary. Love it. Uh, a Halloween year and a Halloween year two um, by Homespun Elegance. Go and check out this series. It's an older series. Amazing little pillows. Oh, so cute. This one with the crows. Look at that. Sandra Sullivan. Love it. Stitching it. I'm, I'm starting to switch over to Halloween stitching now. Yay! Halloween is my favorite time of year. Look at that pumpkin. Oh my gosh. Love, love, love. Picked up Autumn ABCs. I'm gonna do the whole series. Love. I got Lady Liberty. And so this was the unusual one. So my sweetie was looking around the cross stitch shop um, and I had seen this pattern and loved it. And uh, we love Halloween. Um, it's, a, it's our anniversary on Halloween. So we love Halloween stitching and stuff. And he does not stitch. He just is a, an appreciator of my stitching. And he found a pattern that he liked and I said, would you like for me to stitch that? And he said, yes, um, that he would. So I'm gonna order the fabric for it, but it is Cricut Collection and it's um, Skeleton Crew. Oh, sorry for the glare. Maybe if I go that way, there we go. Love it, look at the fish. That's what drew him to it. The fish are skeletons and the sea creature is a skeleton and um, anyway, so yeah, he loved this pattern. So I'm going to order, um, some fabric to stitch it on. They had it on this, on the silver colored. Um, so I might just call her up and order the fabric. I didn't get the fabric I should have. Anyway, we might be going back through there. So that was my stash enhancement. I've had a few patterns, um, come in the, or I have a few patterns coming in the mail. Um, every so often I'll order a couple of patterns off of my wish list and just tuck them away. Um, and let's see, I'm trying to look and see if I got everything. Oh, I did, um, I didn't bring, bring it, shoot. Um, I did manage to find, and I'll show you next one. Um, I had a, a stitched piece and it was just floating around. And then I had the pattern somewhere else. Well, I managed to reunite them this past week so I'm stitching on it and it's an older pattern it's like from 1995 or something um, that I started years and years and years ago so I'm gonna finish that one it's just all solid stitching it's so funny but anyway I'm gonna stitch it because I started it so these are some ones I'm gonna start stitching on in the hair shortly um, some of the Halloween from my stash and I have more I have a ton of Halloween patterns because I love Halloween and I collect them. Um, this is The Haunting by John Thread. Oh, so cute. 
haunting Halloween. Love it. October 31st by Kathy Barrick. Mm, love. And y'all, I don't do fancy floss. Um, it's I stitch a lot and I've just I don't have an LNS. I don't have a place to get it. I think I might have to get this orange, which is oh, you know what? It is oh, it's in NPI, it's in the silks. I don't know if I'm gonna do silks, but it it's also chartered for DMC. Never mind. I was going to say, I might have to delve into some fancy floss for that. I have this one. Definitely need, and I have all the watches. I have like little ones too. I pulled this one out. I'm debating on this one. I don't know about this one. This one might, this one might go up for sale on Stash Unload. I love it. I just don't know about it. We'll see. I think I might like it more as I stitch it. No, you know what? I'm going to stitch it because there's this line of spiders right here. Kind of really love that. But anyway, it's Shepherd's Bush. I think that's all I have for you today. I have other things to show from our trip, and I'll show you. Um, in another video. I just wanted to get on and say, hey, um, and show my finishes, and just to say, happy 4th of July. I am all patriotical today, yay. Um, and I plan on doing, I have to grocery shop. So, oh, I know why I wanted to do a floss tube, so I could, before I do floss tubes, I take everything and I put it in a pile and I wanted to get the pile all organized and get my patterns put where I need to put patterns. I'm having trouble with pattern storage. If anybody has any ideas, I think I'm just going to go with baskets and just organize by season maybe and do uh, fall, which will be all my Halloween stuff, and Thanksgiving and fall and then winter and spring and summer, so I would need four baskets, but I have a ton of patterns. I tried putting them in notebooks by designer. So I don't know if I like that or not, and I just started doing it. The good thing about that is that I can see what I have from any particular designer if I wanna, like if I'm looking for a prairie schooler and all my prairie schoolers are together, then I think that might be easier. I don't know, if you have any any suggestions, comment and let me know. Um, let me know how you um, store your patterns. And then um, I store my seasonal stuff all together. So my seasonal, seasonal stitching is stored with my seasonal decoration. Um, and I have them in different places. We're in a really small apartment and Till we figure out what we want to do with ourselves. Oh, that's a big question. So I don't think I want to buy a house at my age. So I don't know. Wow, this turned deep all of a sudden. Okay, enough of that. We're just stitching. We're stitching fulls. And so if your stash is big and you are not ashamed, give me a give me a thumbs up. Give show me a question. Show me. Good Lord, I need caffeine this morning. Um, leave me a comment. Um, let's be proud of what we have and not ashamed. It is okay. It is completely fine. And if I have to pass it on to somebody or if it all goes to Goodwill and somebody else is blessed when I'm done in this, um, in this world, then guess what? I have blessed somebody, hopefully a brand new stitcher. Maybe we'll get an amazing stash. So. Anyway, everybody have a very fun 4th of July. Please don't blow your digits off because we need them to stitch. So um, enjoy your day if you're celebrating. If you're working, thank you for still working on a holiday. Um, my sweetie's working all day. He's 
in uh, the security field. So, um, so have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.